here's a brand new video. Today is June the 26th, 2017. We're right in the edge of the uh, Rocky Mountains. Uh, our bus, we're about 70 miles northwest of Denver on a car trip. Our bus is there waiting to be serviced. Uh, so we decided to take a trip up to uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. We're gonna go up to an elevation of about 12,000 feet. So I'll keep you posted. About 10 miles from where I shot that last little video and we're starting to get close to our, the high point we're going to. Hope it's not the highest. One little bit of information. By the way, there's a house up there. We used to build, how do you get a concrete truck up there? But our next, our stopping point up here before we go up into the mountains is Estes Park. Estes Park. Look at that. Those typical tourist overlooks. We came in the park, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, at about 8,200 feet. And this stop backwards in an overlook kind of fits us. Well, we're about two miles up. I'm getting up here near the snow. This is one of those famous pullovers. Nice little valley down there. All right, here we go. This is one of my favorite things is driving up here with nothing on that side or nothing on this side, about half of it's that way. So if tires drop over the edge, it's adios. A rare sight. We're up about 12,000 feet in this herd of, I don't think they're big horns, some kind of sheep ran across the road. Look right at home. Finally got to the top about 12,000 feet. Jenny said we could turn around now. But what's funny is you come up this elevation, all of a sudden the tree line stops. There it is. This is called Gore Range. So after this, I get to drive that death defying little trail back down the mountain. Gore Range. I you to death with this, but this is pretty impressive country here. If you go off the side of the road, look here. You go all the way down, rolling that lake. But here's the car, your car's coming our way. This is the last of this I'm gonna make you look at, but uh, I got about eight more miles and I'll be down on the flat ground again, thank goodness. Pretty little natural lake. All right, today is uh, July the 8th. We've, uh, we're in the car, we're taking a, about a 10 day vacation from our vacation. I, my motorhome's in Denver, uh, waiting to get serviced. It won't be ready until a week from Monday. So anyway, yesterday we left uh, Denver, drove about 50 miles and then went up on Mount Evans. And I tried to shoot a video and, and I lost most of it. But anyway, part of it's on this video, but we're going through uh, Colorado. This is the Colorado River right here. And going to, um, Utah and see all the big parks in Utah. So we decided to, instead of waiting to get the motorhome serviced and then driving it into Utah, which I would not do. These are the Rocky Mountains and they are a load. But this uh, canyon right through here, Glenwood Canyon, is built up basically on those bridges right there. So anyway, I'll keep you posted. Uh, I'm sorry I lost part of that. We went 14,103 feet high yesterday at uh, Mount Evans, the highest pavement in North America and maybe in the world, according to Jenny, who knows a lot of stuff. We just left a rest area. We're going through Glenwood Canyon, Colorado. It's awesome. This is on Interstate 70. This was one of the last parts of the interstate system finished i think in the 1990s maybe just went through rifle colorado the terrain changes all the time we're still heading west on interstate 70 going towards grand junction all right here we are 
here we are. We're in Utah. Right there is a sign. It is. Look at this country. This is absolutely desolate. But anyway, we drove from Denver straight through here to Utah, and we're gonna spend a lot of time and mileage in Utah. But I'm ending this video right here. This is it. I'll start a new one when we get to the something worth seeing.